Now, campaigners are celebrating tonight after developers withdrew an application to build football pitches on the Chalton Meadows site. With me now, Paul Ankers, a Liberal Democrat councillor for Chalton. Welcome to Channel M today. Thank you. Uh, you've campaigned on behalf of uh, people in your ward for the uh, preservation of this site. So you must be very pleased. What was your objection in the first place? Though football pitches seem a good thing in these days of obesity and the like. Well, I am very pleased with the result, but um, that's a very good point. The issue for me, probably if you summed it up in one word, was location. Um, it's on the edge of the Mersey Valley, which is probably one of our major assets in South Manchester, if you, if you know it. And this development, along with the proposed Metrolink line that's going to run through to, the, um, to Wivenshaw, um, would basically have affected, to a great deal, how much access people would get to such an important resource. Um, there are other issues in terms of its location for the local people, uh, in terms of light and noise pollution. Which can have I mean, a major it's been impact. used as a, uh, as a recreational area for, for, for years, hasn't it? And they played football on there. It wasn't, the change of use wasn't going to be that drastic, was it? Really? Uh, that's something that we can dispute um, till the cows come home, basically. Um, the pitches were used for a period in the 80s and also in the 60s. But the problem is, because it's um, on the site of an old tip, is that the pitches basically weren't usable. Right. Um, and that was going to be an issue that the developers were going to have anyway was whether they could actually make it usable. They've got ground surveys that suggested it could, um, but we weren't convinced, and there were obviously other objections as well. Yesterday I was talking to Councillor Robin Garrido, mm -hmm. who uh, represents Boothtown. He was very pleased because of the decision to abolish the Salford race course. I mean, for you, again, this must have been a campaign which the local community got behind massively. A massive campaign, in fact, unprecedented in my time as being a councillor. Um, a Facebook group was set up with 6,000 members. Um, there were also objections, I think, in the region of about 1,000 that actual, actually objected to the council plans. Um, they were quite vociferous in their demonstrations, the people, as well, weren't they? Out there yes, protesting, we placards and the like. It, it, wasn't just, it wasn't just online and Facebook or anything like that. No, no, we, we had an excellent event, um, I think um, a picnic that we had at the end of November um, on a Sunday, very cold Sunday, to be honest. Not the perfect time to have a picnic, but we wanted to demonstrate and um, um, make it clear to people just how popular the area was. We've got probably about 500 people there as well. Um, because it's, it's an area that's used and well-resourced throughout South Manchester. It's not just a Chalton issue, really. What about the future, though, Councillor? I'm reading here that uh, it's safe from development for the time being. Now, does that mean that there's a chance that applications will be put in in the future? Well, the interesting technical point is that he withdrew the application rather than have it rejected, um, which, well, we don't know what's in the mind of the developer at the moment, but, yeah, the... There's potential for an application to be resubmitted, whether it's different. Um, he has suggested to um, members of the campaign group that he'll work closer with them to get something that will work. Is there anything you would tolerate, or is it leave it as it is, thank you very much? I think it's very difficult in that site, because, like I say, it's going to cause particular problems to accessing the Mersey Valley, it's going to cause problems right. to the area. We, need, so we do need... It sounds to me whatever is proposed won't be wanted by the local people. We'll I have to leave it there possibly. and we'll follow the case with interest. Councillor, thanks very much indeed for your time.